Much like the use of the phrase deaf diplomacy by the foreign policy commentary, the expression game changer is often abused when referring to the acquisition of weapon systems in India. Here's what media brings to air to air combat. Not every piece of shiny equipment that is bought is a game changer. In many cases, it is simply an upgrade to an existing capability. Rafale fighter of the Indian Air Force, the first of which will arrive later this week, is undeniably more than just an upgrade to game changer, if you will. The weapons it packs, among other things, make the Rafale fighter the platform it has evolved into over the last two and a half decades most of all, MBDA's meteor beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile. What makes meteor different from other air-to-air -air missiles? 1. Its propulsion system. Instead of a traditional rocket motor, the Meteor missile uses GMBH's solid fuel, variable flow, ducted rocket system, also called ramjet. The ramjet propulsion system gives Meteor the ability to throttle its engine, control engine power, during the various stages of its flight towards its target. The propulsion system in a standard air-to-air -air missile does not give this option. This gives the Meteor an edge over a standard air-to-air -air missile. The ramjet motor propulsion system provides the Meteor missile with thrust all the way to target intercept, providing the largest snow escape zone of any air-to-air -air missile. The literature on the missile on MBAD website reads. Here's what this means. When a Meteor missile is fired, it is able to throttle its engine back, while it is flying towards its target in the cruise phase. This saves a lot of its fuel. When the missile reaches close to its target, it throttles up its engine using the saved fuel, and enters the terminal phase of its flight in a high energy state. In comparison, in a standard air-to-air -air missile, the propulsion system delivers energy in an unmodulated manner, providing the same amount of thrust over a certain period, as it can't be throttled. If the target is far, the missile will have less energy in the terminal phase of its flight than the one powered with the ramjet motor. Being in a high energy state in the terminal phase helps the missile maneuver easily to counter the evasive tactics of the target it is chasing. In short, the ramjet equipped meteor has greater chances of hitting a target at long ranges than an air-to-air -air missile using a typical rocket motor. This capability gives Meteor the largest snow escape zone the area within which the target can't kinetically avoid being hit, where the kill probability is very high. 2. Its communication system. To hit their targets accurately, missiles need mid-course updates to make corrections to their trajectory. If the missile has the latest data on the location of its target, the probability of it hitting the target is better than it would be otherwise. Meteor missiles can receive such updates not only from the fighter it is fired from, but also from third-party sources like other friendly fighters in the battle zone, airborne early warning and control aircraft, AEWNC, and land and sea-based radars. This is especially useful when the missile is chasing a target at long range. Once fired, the missile can depend on AEWNC aircraft or ground-based radar, which can track the target at greater ranges than the fighter which fired it. Chinese telecom equipment maker Huawei has slashed its India revenue target for 2020 by up to 50% and is laying off 60 to 70% of staff, excluding those in research and development and the Global Service Center, said several persons with knowledge of the matter. The move comes as the company battles plunging demand for its equipment and services amid border hostilities between China and India. India has joined the US and UK in flagging security concerns over Huawei's links to the Chinese government. New Delhi has already barred state-run carriers from sourcing equipment from Chinese companies Huawei and CT, and is believed to have informally nudged private telcos to replace Chinese equipment over time, without disrupting consumer services. Huawei did not respond to queries. The local unit of Huawei, which follows the calendar year for accounting in India, posted $1.2 billion in revenue in 2017, but its drops since then, first hurt by the financial stress of telcos, and then lately by anti-China business moves in India. Huawei is now targeting $350 $500 million in revenue for 2020, compared with roughly $700 $800 million it was aiming for earlier, one of the persons said. The revision in outlook stems from the company which competes with the likes of Ericsson, Nokia, ZTE and Samsung not, expecting any new business from its only two major telecom customers, in the country Bardi Airtel and Vodafone Idea. It is thus letting go of on roles, contract and third-party employees in India, said one of the persons. Huawei is on the verge of losing business from Bardi Airtel, in the rest of Tamil Nadu, Rotten, Circle to Ericsson, having already lost the Rajasthan Circle late last year, Eastern Time reported recently. Once this happens, Huawei will be back to supplying gear for only two Bardi Airtel circles. The company's India unit employs close to 700 people on its roles, plus hundreds through third-party firms, according to industry estimates. This excludes staff in the company's R&D center. Workforce and network support, field deployment, outsourcing and sales department is being impacted majorly, as there are no new projects or any clarity on new business from telecom operators, said one of the persons cited above.
Another said, they only need people for some annual maintenance contracts for existing businesses with telcos. People who are still with the company are worried about their jobs, since there aren't many openings in the market. The decision to acquire Hammer missiles will help the IF to press its newest induction Rafale jets into operations, amid the India-China tussle without any delay, amid tension with China, the IF has decided to boost its combat capabilities, by procuring Hammer missiles to make Rafale fighter jet more lethal. The last-minute decision to arm the Rafale jets with the Hammer missiles, will allow the Indian Air Force, IF, to press its newest induction into operations, amid the India-China tussle without any delay, sources have said. The earlier decided Spice 2000 bombs would require trials and integration with the fighter jets, that would have delayed operational use. The Rafale has earlier been used for airstrikes in Libya, Afghanistan, Iraq and Syria, using the Hammer, along with other missiles, that will be available in the Indian version, as the first batch of five jets lands in Ambala on July 29. Integration and trials of the Spice 2000, would take some time and delay the Rafale in being operationally ready. Keeping the current scenario in mind, it was decided to equip it with Hammer, as it's already been used in Rafale earlier said an official. Sources said it doesn't mean that the Spice has been replaced with the Hammer. The Israeli-made Spice 2000 was used by the Mirage fighter aircraft, during the Balakut strikes on terror camps in Pakistan last year. Both Spice and Hammer have different capabilities, but the former cannot be used immediately since it's not tested on the Rafale, sources said. Hammer highly agile and maneuverable munition extended range, is a rocket-enabled air-to-ground precision missile, that has range of 60 kilometers, perfectly suited for high altitude. Officials say as the Rafale touches down in Ambala, it will be fully ready for operations. The pilots and the crew have been trained extensively at the Rafale. Since October last year till now many batches went to France to be trained at the Rafale, said an official. The Rafales will fly from France on Monday, and will do a stopover in the UAE, before landing in Ambala on Tuesday, July 29th. Other than the hammer, that's a last-minute addition, the fighter jet is armed with potent meteor and scalp missiles, that will enhance airstrike capabilities, and air dominance of the Indian Air Force. The meteor is a beyond-visual range long air-to-air -air missile with a range of 150 km plus, and scalp is a long-range cruise missile, with a range of 200 km, that can be launched from the aircraft for deep strikes to hit fixed and stationary targets in lander and waters. It will also have the mecha missiles that can be used both for visual and beyond-range air-to-air strikes. The first batch of five Rafale jets will be in India on July 29th, inducted at the Amals Air Force Station, subject to weather conditions, Indian Air Force has said. The final induction ceremony will take place in the second half of August 20. IF aircrew and ground crew have undergone comprehensive training on the aircraft, including its highly advanced weapons systems, and are fully operational now. Post-arrival, efforts will focus on operationalization of the aircraft at the earliest, the IF said. 36 jets comprising two squadrons, will be part of the Indian Air Force in the next two years. While the first squadron will be operational from Amabala on the western sector, the other one will come up in Hashimara in West Bengal, to combat the Chinese threat. There are many India-specific enhancements that have been carried out, and Indian Air Force personnel trained with the French on several aspects like operations and maintenance. Don't forget like the video please share and subscribe.